Hey guys, Justin Kadamu here, and I wanted to give some of my fellow animators and diorama makers um, some awesome tips for making flock really dirt cheap. And so first I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, let's see. Flock around the ground. With the camera on super macro, so it gives it a lot of texture wherever you go and uh, flock can I mean it's not crazy expensive but it's not cheap either you know especially when you're on a budget a shoestring budget for making move animations and movies and stuff and so really um here's my set I have the camera on super macro so it's gonna look fuzzy except for what's really close but I took a uh, quarter inch whatever you know an inch of styrofoam or whatever that is and I painted it brown, and I threw sand on it. Just sand. Um, hobby sand specifically, but I think you could use any sand as long as it's fine sand. And then I use, uh, let it dry, then I painted it green, and I threw my flock on there. Which my flock is made of this. This is uh, moss. I live in Washington State now. This stuff grows everywhere. It grows on everything. Um, when I lived in Missouri, I didn't see a lot of moss just floating around, you know, but up here, there's a lot. So if you live somewhere where there's moss, then you can go hiking and get a whole bag of this stuff. And then what you need next is a blender. And you put it in the blender, and you blend it up real good on the highest setting, and you get this nice, fine, multicolored powder. It's probably going to make my lens dirty. Um, and then, you know, after you paint, you just sprinkle this on and it will dry on. Um, you can also use spray glue, but at the time I didn't have spray glue, so I used, you know, wet paint. But uh, it makes a huge, huge difference. This is the first set I've done with, with flocking, you know, so probably future ones will look even better. But um, I think it looks good. It's one of the sets that I built for Gundam Father a piece. So I uh, hope you guys can use these tips. Remember, just find some moss and blend it. It doesn't even have to be that same kind of moss. Whatever kind of moss you got, uh, I recommend uh, buying a cheap blender from your local Goodwill or, you know, Salvation Army or what have you. That way your mom doesn't get mad, or your wife in my case. But, uh, I did it anyways. <laughs> Don't tell her. I figure, hey, if you can put eggs in the blender, and blend it and then you can clean it you can do the same with moss but you know moms are a little different so anyways hope this helps you guys and uh look forward to showing you uh the new studio here soon catch you later bye